Today I'm taking you on a trip to the capital of the Netherlands, the city that offers the canals, the red light district and Van Gogh. But there's much more to experience and discover. In the 13th century, Amsterdam was founded by fishermen on a dam along the river Amstel. This explains the city's name and the location was also the reason that Amsterdam transformed into one of the premier places of worldwide trade and business during the Dutch Golden Age. Today, Amsterdam has over 800,000 inhabitants, an eclectic mix of cultures and nationalities. Visitors can choose a plethora of restaurants, shopping possibilities, activities and culture. I have to say I really enjoy to show you around my city. And did you know that these canals were put on the World Heritage List by UNESCO recently? Makes me proud. Amsterdam has a rich history when it comes to art. Because of Dutch masters like Rembrandt van Rijn, Johannes Vermeer and Van Gogh, there was already a lively art scene during the 17th century. And that's one of the reasons we have no shortage of museums today. Three world-class museums. The Rijksmuseum, the Van Gogh Museum and the Stedelijk Museum. And that's just the ones located on the museum square. There are plenty of other museums worthy of your visit. Many of our Vincent masterpieces are on display in this museum. And it's very interesting to see how his work developed over the years. What makes him such an extraordinary artist? Well, I think it's really a multitude of aspects. He was, you know, a, a talented artist. I mean, he taught himself in a very short period of time. I mean, he was only active as an artist for 10 years, and he only painted for about eight. Oh, right. So that's really, that's one of the amazing things. His paintings have become icons because I guess they are, they speak still to our imagination. They're colorful, they show everyday subjects, you know, everything that we can relate to very easily. Why do you think the people in that time didn't see that? Yeah, it's difficult to say really. I guess Van Gogh was a bit ahead of his time and somehow people didn't quite recognize um, also the novelty in his work. That happens more often to yeah. artists. I find it sometimes hard to believe that he only was able to sell one painting in his uh, entire life, even though his, his brother was an art dealer, wasn't he? It's true, his brother Theo was an art dealer <laughs> and still couldn't sell his work. It is simply unbelievable that he managed to sell only one of his paintings while he was still alive. And that is one of my personal favorites. Famous Dutch photojournalist Jeroen Swoofs has traveled seven years to every country in the world and shows us a positive side of humanity. Visit the Streets of the World Museum and join him on a trip around the world to explore all capitals in the world through his captivating images. You will find one photo of every capital of the world highlighting what connects humanity in our time. There are plenty of activities you can do in and around Amsterdam. You could choose to take a tour by boat, for instance. And who would expect this? A beach just outside the city of Amsterdam. The North Seashore is easily accessible from the city as well, such as touristic highlights like the Gogerhof and the Zanseschans. Can't bear to leave the city? No problem, as there is plenty of tours, excursions and experiences to choose from. This is one of the places the people from Amsterdam love to visit themselves. The Vondelpark. You can do biking, 
running, um, skating, or just relaxing. One of the best and fun ways to discover Amsterdam is from the canals. You get a totally different perspective. And look what we got here. A beautiful boat. Hi, Captain. You can, of course, explore the canals on a tourist boat, but it can also be done on a smaller scale, on this canal hopper, for example. These boats are more maneuverable and have a more intimate atmosphere. Ik zie hier trouwens heel veel uh, schattige brugjes waar we hier onder doorvaren. Hm. Hoeveel zijn er in Amsterdam? Ja, er zijn er in, uh, ongeveer ruim 1500 bruggen. Jeetje, ja, dat is dan heel veel. Hè? Ja. The Canal Hopper is an electric longboat enabling you to explore the lively Amsterdam canals in a sustainable way. Enjoyable every time. You find warehouses and franchise shops on the big streets of the city. But if you're looking for a more boutique shopping experience, I suggest you come here. It's called the Nine Streets, the Negen Straatjes. This place consists of nine cross streets between the canals. Here you'll find hip fashion stores and quaint novelty shops. And do you want to taste some local flavors? There are many neighborhood markets littered throughout the city. Most of these are in business six days a week. Or are you more into a posher lifestyle? Then you cannot miss the PC Hofstraat where it's all about high street brands and haute couture. And here they even have private dressing rooms, not only for the rich and famous. That's smart. Hey, what do you think? It looks good. Any self-respecting European capital has them. Beautiful shopping malls set in dramatic buildings. Well, this one is called Magna Plaza and it's located in old post office. Shoppers at this gem of a mall should keep an eye out for the rich neo-Gothic and neo-Renaissance details. As you can see, handling people's mail used to be big business. However, since 1982, this building is used for entirely different reasons. Amsterdam is a city for people who enjoy the finer things of life. And if you're one of those people, you better make a stop at this place. Hyenius has been a household name in Amsterdam for more than 188 years. Cigar smokers can find a wide selection here, but non-smokers will also find it worth their while to take a look. Dit is een mooie winkel. Dit is al best wel een oud, oud gebouw ook, toch? Uh, dit gebouw is 100 jaar. We zitten hier no. sinds 1914. We staan ook op de monumentenlijst. Dus we moeten heel zorgvuldig omgaan met alle mooie spullen die hier in de yeah. winkel zijn. Er zijn drie verschillende soorten Italiaans marmer uh, gebruikt. Gedeeltes van ons plafond die zijn helemaal met leer bekleed. Oh, wat mooi. Een leuk detail is dat de kroonluchters die wij hier hebben hangen, twee stuks, die komen nog uit ons oude gebouw. En dan is het tijd voor een quick taste in de smoking lounge. Hoe moet je nou eigenlijk gaan roken? Wat belangrijk is, is dat je een sigaar zo koel cool mogelijk rookt. En je moet het niet uh, inhaleren, toch? Sigaren inhaleer je niet. Nee. 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 Uh, smaaksensatie speelt zich af in je mond, in je voorhoofd, eventueel. Maar je longen die hebben geen smaakpapillen. En, uh, dus ik zal hier net gewoon een trek en die... Zo, je smaakt het koel. En het geeft je tijd om te denken. En een goede conversatie.
Amsterdam is a cultural melting pot and many of these cultures have brought their local cuisines with them. Today, the city has a huge variety of quality restaurants for every taste and budget. Chinatown is a place where Asian food is celebrated. Indian food, Chinese food, Japanese food, you name it. The city is chock full of eateries for a simple but delicious lunch or dinner. Does haute cuisine tickle your fancy? Plenty of top-class restaurants to choose from as well. We all know the Dutch love Harry, but this is not a Dutch delicacy. Kibbeling. Mag ik een portion? Ja. Precies. The Roast Room is one of the latest hotspots in Amsterdam Zuid. A restaurant that will appeal, above all, Hi. to meat lovers. Art is the theme of this restaurant, which is reflected in its stylish interior with eye-catching details like, for example, the beer barrels or this design lamp. The Roast Room consists of a brasserie and a fine dining restaurant. Specialities are lovingly prepared in the open kitchen. The meat used here comes from the restaurant's own butcher's shop. This beautiful piece of meat is listed on the menu as man steak. Sorry, ladies. You won't get bored for a minute in the city in the evenings. There are various theatres, concert halls and cinemas. There are also lots of places for a friendly drink. The Netherlands is famous for its brown cafes with its timeless, charming interiors where you need no more than a cold glass of beer and good company. Cheers! Wish me luck, because I'm all set for a night at the casino. Holland Casino offers a wide variety of entertainment. Relax at one of the bars, have a bite to eat at the restaurant, or try your luck at one of the many games in this surprising and swanky casino. Yes! All right, next round of drinks are on me. Well, thank you. If you want a bit of excitement, you can go to the casino. And if you want to get your dancing shoes on, there are numerous clubs throughout the city. So that's what they mean by the city that never sleeps. I think I've shown you plenty of things you can do and see in the city. But it's hard to show off what I think is Amsterdam's main attraction. And I'm talking about the open-minded and relaxed atmosphere which the city offers. I hope I've inspired you to come over and experience this yourselves. Tot ziens. <laughs>